You know, eating disorders are very complicated and the underlying causes are often unknown. The disorder most commonly appears during adolescence or young adulthood and for many people it becomes this ongoing battle. Catherine Calloway tells us about eating disorders and how they might be treated. A 25-year struggle with food is why Elizabeth Rhine is on a crusade to help others. When I was 15, I developed a combination of anorexia and bulimia. I started the anorexia because I thought, well, that's a really quick way to lose weight, just being a ballet dancer and constantly comparing myself to other people, not being thin enough. Over the years, Lisbeth suffered in silence, but now knows she isn't alone. In the U.S., an estimated 11 million people suffer from an eating disorder, and most are women. Eating disorders such as anorexia, bulimia, and binge eating can be characterized by severe changes in diet, extreme reductions in food intake, or overeating. The effects of eating disorders are devastating. On, on one's health. And what's ironic is everyone that comes in to see me starts by saying I want it to get healthier. And yet they end up doing something which is the most unhealthy they could do for their bodies. For Lisbeth, ending her first marriage was devastating, but it resulted in her getting the help she needed. I turned 30 and my marriage, my first marriage was about over. and. That was a big secret in my marriage. Um, he didn't know that I was bulimic. Um, he had no idea. And so that sort of ended and I just decided, you know, gosh, I'm sick of hating myself. I'm sick of throwing up all the time. Um, and so that really preempted me to get help. The cause of eating disorders is complex and multi-determined. So the treatment of eating disorders has to be individualized. Usually treatment involves some type of psychotherapy with someone who specializes in eating, food, body image issues. It also is helpful to work with a dietitian or nutritionist, also a physician who knows eating disorders and can be part of the team. Sometimes medication can be helpful. Go get it. The battle to get healthy can take a long time and it's never ending. I feel great now. Sometimes the urge may come up, um, but it's not really hard for me to sort of get it back into place. Um, once you've overcome something like that, it's always part of you, and you just have to be willing to say, I'm never going to be 100%, but no one really is anyway. For CNN, I'm Katherine Calloway. Boy. It is important to recognize and treat an eating disorder, and the earlier it's treated, the less likely you're going to have health complications, such as heart conditions, kidney failure, things like that. If you want to find out more about eating disorders, there's a great tool out there. It's the website nationaleatingdisorders.org.